What up, everybody? It's Coach Miana BK, and I am so excited to have this very, very special guest with me today. Um, a lot of you know her from Instagram, Fit to Be Me. She is the beautiful caramel black woman that we all see floating around our Instagram, down our feed. I'm lucky enough to be able to work her out this morning. I would love for you guys to to me, Iffy, I would love for you guys to know how amazing she is so that you understand why I wanted to do this workout with her. Y'all meet Iffy. Hi guys, hi, hi, hi. I'm so happy to be here with you, you know, doing this workout. Uh, I know it's something that a lot of people would want to do because it's it's easy, but I, you know, it's, it's a workout, so you get to do something. So I'm really happy to be here, and thank you for hosting me. I want you to remember that you said it was easy. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all okay, that you need not today. I take that back. Nah, nah, you can't take it back. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm ready. So all I need for you to have today are uh, is a 10 pound kettlebell and a couple of dumbbells, whatever is uh, comfortable for you. Even if that five, even if it's a five pound, it doesn't really matter as long as it's some type of weight, okay? For those of you who don't have kettlebells and dumbbells, don't even worry about that. Either grab a couple of cans, uh, a can goods, beans, corn, peas, whatever. A um, couple bottles of water will also work or a jug of water or a bowl of water that you can't spill. Either way, even if you don't have any of that, your body weight will be just fine. Don't even worry. This workout is for you, okay? Um, we're going to get started with a couple of simple ones. We're going to start with just running in place, okay? I'm setting my, my wad timer so we don't get off track. And uh, we're going to start with just running in place. The thing about running in place is to make sure you pumping them arms and them legs at the same time, okay? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Two. Okay. One. Go. Let's go. So you want to make sure that your tummy is always pulled into your back. Okay. And if you feel like you could go faster, go faster. If you feel like you can really get in there, get in there. But if you have to go slower, go slower because listen, it's not a race. Okay. We're not racing against anyone. We're just doing our best okay we're over halfway there by the way keep the arms pumping get the arms up we don't want to put them down here we want them up right you less than 10 nine let's go let's go six five four rest we're resting okay so while you're resting i'm going to show you the thing you're going to do next they're called jane fonda's so you're going to reach and kick Reach and kick, right? Reach and kick. Two, one, go. Yes. Now get on over there. You want to make sure when you're reaching, you're going as far as you can. And that's going to give you full extension. You'll be able to feel it right here. And you'll be able to feel it on the top of those thighs, right? And you want to go at a rhythm that is most comfortable for you, okay? It's not a race. You're halfway there. Look at you. Let's go. Okay. 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 <laughs> How you feeling? You feeling good? Good. 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 I feel good. Awesome. You're almost there. You're doing so good. Go ahead and rest. Awesome. Yeah. So the next thing we're doing, air punches. We're, we're either jabs, uppercuts, hooks, right? Let's go. Okay. So you want to just really get in there, right? And while you're doing it, here's the key, guys. Make sure you make a fist. You clench that fist really, really tight. And every time you hit, you are clenching every muscle in your arm, right? So when you do it, even if you don't have weights, Oh my God, you're really, really getting a workout, right? You're halfway there, mama, let's go. Hey, get in there. Hey, you see that, 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 that speed that she's going? Super helpful. 
Oh, she froze up on us a little bit, but that's okay. Three, two, one, let's go. You're resting. Are you still there? We still got you? Yeah, okay. I'm still here. All right, like cool. That yeah. Okay, pick up your, uh, your, your dumbbells and do it again. Boom. Let's go. The se yeah. Yeah. The same speed. You can't give me this. Yeah, hey, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's the intensity I need right there. You getting in there. Try a hook. Try a hook. Yeah. Yeah. Now try an uppercut. Boom. Yes. Squeeze your fists and clench the muscles in your arms. How you feeling? Ah. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Okay. <laughs> yes. Three, two, one. Get some rest. Get some rest. Awesome. Now I take that back. It's not easy. <laughs> Next thing you're going to do. You ready? In and out. Let's go. Bounce. We bounce it. Yes. It's very important. You're doing it perfect. It's very important. Once we get tired, people be like, we're not doing that. We just go. <laughs> we bounce it. You're using your thighs to do the work. You're using your torso, your core to do the work. You halfway there, you halfway there. Now listen, if you cannot bounce all the way like this, don't feel bad, just do what you can. If it's this, do this, whatever it is that makes it you know, bearable for you, okay? Two, one, rest. Go ahead and get some rest. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. So, no weights. We're just going to do big claps like this. Two, one, yes. Big claps. Clench the muscles in your arms while it's going and don't clap your hands. Don't allow your hands to clap together. Control. Boom. How'd I feel to you? Good. Good. Keep going. You almost halfway there? Oh, you halfway there. Yes. Make sure you clenching the muscles in them arms. You should feel it all up and through here. Yep. Oh, yes. All right. You less than 10 seconds. Less than 10 seconds. We almost there. Two, one, get some rest. Awesome. So the next thing we're going to do, we still work in our arms. We do them vertical, right? And control it. So don't just be. We ain't doing this. We just, right? Go. Clenching the muscles in the arms the whole time. Right? You should feel that right up and through here while you're doing it. Yep. Oh, yeah. And also, I want to let you guys know, to get the most uh, benefit from the workout, you got to be clenching those muscles so that you're making sure that your muscles are feeling the burn, right? This is the substitute for not using weights. It doesn't always have to be about using weights. Your own body weight and the muscles, clenching the muscles give you a really, really good workout, okay? So I don't want you to think you have to have weights in order to be successful. That's just not true, right? Two, one, get some rest. Yes, okay. So the next thing we're doing we're going to go back to in and out, and I'm going to have you pick up those dumbbells, and it's going to be push up, push up, push up, go, push up, push up, push up. Awesome. Yes. Yes. That's what I want. You're looking good. You're looking hey. good. And we almost halfway through this workout. After this, we halfway through. Yes, you halfway there, you halfway there. Now y'all see what she's doing, right? She's not racing. The purpose is just to get a burn, right? So we're not racing, we're not going at a specific pace. 
We're just making sure that we're keeping our own burn going, right? Three, two, one, rest. Awesome. Oh, yes. So the next thing we're going to do is twist kicks. We're twisting and we're kicking. So, yes, yes. Get a good twist in, kick that leg out. You should feel it right here, right away. You should feel it. Oh, yeah. And get that leg out. You see how she's getting that leg out? That's how we want you to get that leg out, right? And we want you to go at a good pace. Make sure you are really, really getting that thing in there so you can feel the burn right up and through, okay? Ooh, you hovering right at 10 seconds. You all right? You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. Good. Awesome. Three, two, one, rest. Yes. So the next thing we're going to do is open the cabinet doors. That's what we call it. So you put your arms up here, right in front of your face, and you open the cabinet doors, right? Go. When you open the cabinet door, you are trying to squeeze the quarter in your back. There's a quarter in the middle of your back and you're trying to squeeze it when you open them doors, right? So not only are you clenching the muscles in your arms, but you're getting good chest work up and through here and you're getting back work, right? So now, once you get a feel for it, let's go a little faster. And you should begin to feel that right up and through here, right? Yep. Hold okay. it. 10 seconds. Right? Woo wee! I feel the burn. Yeah, you resting. So now we gonna open the cabinet doors that are up top. We gotta open those, right? Two, one, go. Let's get them cabinet doors open up top. We still squeezing that quarter in the back. We still tightening them arms. Woo wee! I want to quit right now. I didn't only done three. You know? Woo! Yes! Ooh, that thing is burning, ain't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Take a few breaths, get right back at it. It's all right. Uh huh. Mm hmm. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Ooh, I know, I know. Two, one, rest. Yeah, I know. So the next thing we're gonna do, pull downs. Pull that thing from off the cabinet. Right? Go. Yes. Don't come all the way down. Come out a little past halfway. See, don't that hurt a little more? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little past halfway. Make sure that back is nice and straight. Make sure we're not bowling our back in or anything like that. Oh, yes. You're doing so good. You are doing so good. Yes. Uh huh. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh. Thank God for that rest, huh? So the next thing you're going to do, you're going to pick up that kettlebell and you're going to chop the wood. Yes, yes, go. So if you can, try not to bend your arms. You want your arms to stay straight. Yeah, see that make it harder. Yeah, keep them arms straight. And when you come up, you should feel the extension right here. Yeah. Oh, you halfway there, boo. You almost done and we are almost done with this whole workout. I hope you are feeling it. Yep. Good, good, good. <laughs> good, good. 10 seconds. 
Yes. Three, two, one, rest. Very good. Very good. Next thing we're doing, figure eights. Go ahead and pick that thing back up. Figure eights. Let's go. Big eights. Big eights. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's what I'm trying to see right there. I see you. Big eights. That, now you're doing it. Yeah, it's not a race. So you don't have to go fast. You just got to go. Oh, and you halfway there. Look at you. She's ready. It's okay. Breathe a couple times. Get back in it. It's okay. Uh-huh. Two, one, rest. Yes. We only got two more things to do. How dope is that? So the next thing we're going to do, ready, go. We're going to come in. When you go out, you're getting a good squeeze on that chest. Excuse me. When you come in, you're squeezing that chest. When you go out, you're squeezing that quarter on your back, right? Yes. Very good. Very good. Yes. I love that. Yes, and you halfway there. Mm-hmm. Very good. Ooh-wee. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. She's making it, y'all. She's making it. She's about to get it. Two, one, rest. All oh, snap, we going into the last thing. Pick up that kettlebell again. We're going to do figure eights, but in a different way. We're going, ready? Go. Yes. Yes. Tighten up them uh, arm muscles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all I'm talking about right there. And if you want to, you can put the kettlebell down and just use your body weight and see how it feels. It'll feel the same. <laughs> you have what? Oh, you coming up on 10 seconds. You're almost done. Uh oh. Three, two, one. That's it. Look at you. Well done. Well done.